Right, hello. Just a uh, <clears throat> quick one, a reminder if you like, on the uh, setup I've got in the back room here. I had a, a question about it, um, referring to well, overwinter and stuff, and I think the the comment was that they the the person had a greenhouse up in their garage, which is is always a a good option if you you're short on space. Um, obviously, heat is going to be the issue. If you just want to keep things ticking over, that is the best thing you can do. Luckily, I'll just go over the setup I've got. That this is in my uh, back room. So if you've got a understanding wife or partner, then uh, you're lucky, like I am, and to to get away with a setup like this. But yeah, so the setup I've got is uh, it's literally just a, a small walk-in greenhouse. Um, really cheap, I'd say like 20 quid. I had done a previous video to it, but I'll, like I say, I'll do a bit of an update and refresher for any new viewers who haven't seen any previous videos. Um, I know there's not much to look at because uh, I have just sprayed in there because I had some... Uh, well, I found a slug in there to start with. Must have come in in one of the pots, and also a couple of aphids. Not not too bad, but I decided to take the step and give it a good spraying in there. But yeah, so the setup I've got because I've got a lot of sort of true tropicals, if you like, and a lot of palms which are very small, sort of seedling size, which. To keep them growing, you need the temperatures, and to do that outside would cost a fortune, especially with the uh, gas and electricity prices at the moment. So, this is my setup, this is what I decided to do, and uh, basically, not that you can see, I've got one light at the top there, grow light, and a second in the corner, so they're both Sansei. I think the one at the top is a 36 watt and the one in the corner is a 30 watt. So they're fairly low power consumption but they do kick out a lot of light and they, you know you don't need the plants directly underneath them. They, they do cast a good light dispersal. Um, I've got a little fan going 24 7. You can see that in the corner there. Go right at the bottom here. I've got a little tiny radiator. I've got that set so it's never see through here. You won't. But it's uh, sitting at 26 degrees in there at the minute, so I don't really want to go any higher than that. That's plenty enough to get good growth out of most of the plants and small palms. And then lastly round the bottom shelves, because obviously they're sort of shadowed a bit by the main lights. I've got some really cheap strip lights um, each side under the first shelf and the second shelf. But they uh, seem to be just enough to keep the plants going. So that is the setup and the reason why I decided to do it indoors and not set up a, a heated greenhouse or you know I have got my summer house in the garden which is heated to a minimum but this is to keep things fully growing because there's a lot of small plants in a lot of hate to say it but the fussy collocations and alocasias which don't do well as house plants and don't really want to go dormant and I, Again, they're not doing brilliantly, but they're ticking over. The allocations actually are doing quite well, but the collocations are only just sort of ticking over. But that's fine with me. We'll keep them slightly on the dry side. I don't want them growing huge and uh, getting out of control in there anyway. So that is that. And just an update, I did get some seeds for Christmas. So I decided to hang them in there, the, the banana seeds anyway, because they don't need, you know, 26 degrees is a good enough 
heat during the day and they'd want that drop at night which I'd obviously turn the radiator off at night so I'm hoping that's gonna do the trick for them they're obviously in the baggy method soaked them first for three or four days so we'll see if we get any action from them right so that is that just a quick one just to answer a viewer's question and it's an update really on the uh, overall setup obviously I've got food palms here I couldn't get in there this is obviously just a house plant anyway it's the um, Kentia palm which I had outside during the summer so that's getting the uh, a little bit of light coming from inside the greenhouse um, yeah I think we'll leave it at that thanks for watching